Happy Thumbs Gaming. We shall. Hey everybody, it's Brian with Happy Thumbs Gaming. Today we're checking out level 9 Queer Lodgings Free Play. We're actually uh, going to require or ask that you uh, complete all of the story and pick up the uh, couple of characters listed down below, Sauron and Saruman. And uh, also the two-time stud multiplier, Red Brick, does help as well, which uh, all three of those can be found in our Preparing for Free Play video in our Lego the Hobbit free or playlist. Free playlist is what I was going for, but... Wrong time for the free play. All right, speaking of which, let's go ahead and kick this off. Uh, we're running from a big bear, a.k.a. Bjorn. Make sure that you turn on your stud multiplier as you roll through here. We already had the uh, uh, master burglar status, so it's not a big deal. But most importantly, stay on the right-hand side as you're running, as you can see, because the mini kit's going to come fast. Then you're going to want to stay on the top of your screen once the angle changes. And I know it's a little bit of a funny angle, but we'll go ahead and keep running at it anyways. I love how he keeps looking over his shoulder like, oh, no. And uh, once you uh, get to a certain point, it'll run up a side of a log there. And boo, you can shout. Mini kit number two already. So uh, this level is pretty fast and compact. I'm going to go ahead and mention the uh, quick links down below, though, anyways. If you're looking for a specific item like treasure piece or maybe the schematic, use the quick links down below to help you get there quicker and faster so you don't have to scroll through. Now on the slide on your way down, make sure you're holding left all the way down. And if you do just that, you will grab the third mini kit that happens in that first running sequence. So lots of action. And uh, good news is you can restart that over and get them again in the event that you missed one sliding down. Pretty easy to do, really, because it's happening so fast. But that's what we're here for, to help guide the way. All right, so you saw us destroy that mithril lock, and we headed down into the basement, and right off the bat, we're going to target the three, uh, what are they, orc posters? Nail them, goblin posters? Nail them all. And then we're going to sneak under the staircase right there, because there's another one. Look at these. These are just coming off faster than I can even explain them. Now, I found out here the hard way that uh, Mr. Saruman does not have the wizardry power required to take out those. I thought all wizards would work, but his... His stick is red while all the others are blue, so switch to uh, Radagast or Gandalf and blast that for the other mini kit. And then grab the uh, torch on the left-hand side of the staircase and get the fire burning and destroy the chest for the treasure item number one. Whew! Barely catch my breath here. Hopefully you guys are keeping up with me as well. And uh, I sped this up just a little bit, but holy cow, I should have left it regular speed. Right outside the basement gates there, there is a sick squirrel. Go ahead and heal him, and he'll run up and knock down the schematic, which we can now add to. And uh, then we're going to go ahead and use Legolas and his arrows to target these two arrow holes and fill them up. And climb to the top and grab the second of four treasures. Booyah kashow! Whew, I'm going to wipe the sweat off my forehead real quick as we uh, kind of advance into some story mode stuff for a half a second or four. And uh, look at this. I got my little flail. That's all of a sudden Legolas is a human tetherball. Woo! That one looks a little more dangerous, though. And off to the right-hand side is eventually where we're going to head, and there is some bricks in the front right corner here. It's kind of hard to actually see and easily missed even if you do see them, because they uh, once you destroy them, these blocks are pretty much hidden. So, boik shao, Master Burglar. Everything is awesome. Little flashback for you, huh? All right, so we've got everything destroyed over here, and it's actually on the front side of this log. And if you do it just right, you can see the little circle icon, and you build up a little boinger. We're going to get our bounce on, and ba-boing, woohoo, seven mini kits. Look at that. We're at the four-minute mark. We've already got seven mini kits. We're working on the eighth, and a couple treasures, and the schematic. This is insane. I wish all the levels were this quick and easy, huh? All right, so we're going to switch to Sam and dig up some blocks. Looks like they're the other side blocks, so we're going to have to put on the ring and build them up, and look at that. We're going to find ourselves a nice little grapple hook. So truth be told, uh, if you notice too, I'm kind of plowing through this like I know what I'm doing. I actually did this in my first recording, and as soon as I slipped into this, it glitched and my guy kept dying. Uh, I keep talking about maybe doing a blooper reel at some point with all my noob moments, and uh, I'll be sure to write that in my notes and include that if I do. So right off the bat, once we get into this secondary area off to the right, we can see that there's a mini kit spinning around hiding in the flowers, and it looks like it's just tucked away, but it turns out it's sort of buried, so... Pull out your trowel or maybe Sam and dig that bad boy up and then grab it quickly and we'll move on to the next one, which is uh, there's a couple of bear statues, three to be exact, 
And we're going to go ahead and destroy the first one, which is kind of the middle right area. And watch out for those undead bricks over there. We'll come back to those in a minute. And there's definitely an outhouse or oothouse if you're Canadian. And uh, we'll uh, keep on keeping on and make our way over to the left-hand side. Kind of in the back left is where number two bear statue is. We'll destroy that and get credit for that a little delayed. It was kind of worrying us. I was like, what the... But, uh, all right, and then front left side is going to be the third one, which gives us 9 out of 10 mini kits and quite a few studs, actually, too. So this is a great place to get the Master Burglar status if for some reason you didn't take our advice and bring a multiplier in here. Uh, it's not a high requirement, but uh, without some help, it might actually uh, be a little bit tougher than one would think. So, all right, obviously there's some giant bees here, and we're buzzing around, and we need to uh, jump on over them. And pull out our slingshot so we can fill up this sack. Uh, I don't know what is going on here, but I'm not stoked about it. And again, you know, hopefully they went to Costco for some hand sanitizer because there's been a lot of these questionable greasy situations. And all right, so this is one of my favorite moments right here. So we destroyed this undead box over on site, and he puts on the chicken helmet. I mean, like, seriously, like, I know they probably planned that treasure item there, assuming that one would have <laughs> Sauron out, but, I mean, come on, that that's pretty awesome. As much as I don't want to switch to it or away from it, we have to because we have to double down on some dwarfage over here. So uh, pick your two dwarfs of choice, and in my case, I actually used the Hobbit, and we're going to get our smack on and destroy that crack and then in the back we find ourselves a little box that we can destroy and grab the fourth and final piece of armor okay so if you haven't been doing the math that actually accounts for all of the collectibles and uh, the, this last couple of minutes is actually just going to be us finishing out this story mode real quick which is really simple we just need to get our hands on that pesky bee well the key really but uh He's uh, really buzzing us off right now, so we'll go ahead and uh, we'll make his life a little bit more difficult as well. On the left-hand side, we're going to just use our grapple hook to pull it down, and we drop a nice little box over the top. But we'll heat things up with our sorcery, and that sends him up. And unfortunately, he's like, you know what, I've had it with this key. I'm just going to go ahead and leave it up here out of reach. And uh, this is the last of the videos that we did in advance um, that we use the save and continue as you know We're not gonna do that anymore because we've had a few crashes and glitches like I was just mentioning a second ago I had that load glitch which probably isn't related, but uh, it could be and Again, we use our human tether ball to grapple that hook and we're gonna need a buddy to help him out this time to weigh things down Once we do that it brings the key up on top of the house and that's when fatty makes his appearance so pick out old fatso set him on the old picnic blanket Feed him, and uh, once you've got his uh, appetite quenched, then you can go ahead and uh, bounce on his belly. Is that even the appropriate term, quenched? I don't know. We'll roll with it because we're not going back. And speaking of which, that's going to wrap that up. So, oh, to the, yeah, queer lodgings, free play, level complete. I'm a little disappointed. I know they know, we know we're playing free play. But come on, why isn't it stated there? Like, that's kind of like my glory moment where I get to yell it out. But chicken hat, by far my favorite treasure item. Uh, well, so far, anyways. The cooking apron was pretty cool, too, but not nearly as com comical as Sauron with the chicken helmet on. Pretty sweet, pretty sweet. All right, uh, Mithril multi bow. So it looks like we got uh, some, some triple fire action now. And what do we got? What you got? You got 10 mini kits. We're going to build us something awesome. Oh, with some beehives little bee community there that'll be some good honey huh all right a couple studs for all of our efforts there and of course some mithril bricks for all of our hard work too oh yeah all right so that's actually gonna make us quit to middle earth we have no other options huh and uh that'll wrap up lego the hobbit level nine queer lodgings free play so yeah hopefully you guys found that entertaining it was a quick one and uh, I, like I said, I wish they were all this quick and easy because it's just bang, 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 bang. Not a lot of extra stuff. I didn't have to speed too much stuff up and uh, worked out rather nicely if I do say so myself. Hey, if you're feeling chatty, why don't you head on over to uh, Facebook, Twitter, comment, vote, subscribe down below. HappyThumbsGaming.com is available too. 
Uh, we got video uh, or game reviews and product reviews, as well as our online store to purchase some Happy Thumbs merch. And yeah, you guys have been doing an awesome job supporting us and uh, buying them stickers up and actually sending us pictures too. We just got a couple more in tonight. If you're curious to see our gallery of Thumby and Buikashao sticker sightings, head on over to the Facebook page and look at our photos. But that's it. So as always, until next time. <laughs>